The Bradford pool table made by Brunswick Billiards comes in three sizes of playing area, 50 inches by 100 inches, 44 inches by 88 inches, and 38 inches by 76 inches. We're asked first of all to find the perimeter and the playing area of each table, and then by how much does the area of the largest table exceed the area of the smallest table. For the first part, we first of all can think of what equations we're going to use, and we can remember that perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, and the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now we need to use each of these formulas three times because we need to find the perimeter and the area of all three tables. So we'll start with the 50 inch by 100 inch table, and this, this symbol here means by in this abbreviation, and we start by finding the perimeter and that's 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, which is 200 inches plus 100 inches or 300 inches. And then we find the area. The area is the length 100 inches times the width, 50 inches. 100 times 50 is 5,000, and that gives us 5,000, and then the units would be square inches. That's the first table. The second table was 44 inches by 88 inches. We found the perimeter again. That's 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, which is 176 inches plus 88 inches or 264 inches. The area is the length times the width, which would be 88 inches times 44 inches, and if we do that multiplication, we get 38,000 or 3,872 square inches. Then we repeat this one more time for the third table. The third table, the dimensions were 38 inches by 76 inches. The perimeter was 2 times the length, which is 2 times 76 inches, plus 2 times the width, which is 2 times 38 inches, and that is 2 times 76 is 152 inches, plus 2 times 38 is 76 inches, which gives us a perimeter of 228 inches. And finally, the area of the third table is length times width. That's 76 inches times 38 inches, which gives us 2,888 square inches. Now that completes part A. Part B, we were asked to find out the number of square inches by which the area of the largest table exceeds the area of the smallest table. We will do that by subtracting, let's see, the area of the largest table, if we look back at our work, was 5,000 square inches, and the area of the smallest table, which is the one we just found, was 2,888 square inches. To find the difference, the number, the amount by which this exceeds this, we subtract. We have 5,000 minus 2,888. If we do the subtraction, we have 2, 1, 1, 2, 
square inches. So the largest table exceeds the smallest table by 2,112 square inches.